Folks at home, folks at home, welcome back to Bass U Live, broadcasting directly from ICAST 2017. Uh, it's been an amazing show so far. Thank you for watching. We're giving you a glimpse into all the new and amazing products out here for sport fishermen all around the world. Um, I want to remind you, you can watch, of course, by watching BU Live and also on the Bash U Live Facebook page, we'll be broadcasting select pieces. Uh, got a couple of amazing guests with me to my left. Two of them. I'm going to start to my far left. You'll know her from the Ike Live show, the beautiful Rebecca joining us for a little segment. How you doing, Beck? Good. They just know me from Mike Live. They <laughs> no, they, do they know you from other things, too? I, I, I'm your wife, so I think they know that I'm your wife okay. and the keeper of all these things. The, yes, that's right. <laughs> but you all know me from Mike Live. Thanks for coming out. Okay. And also joining us from O'Meal's, and you might recognize O'Meal's from last weekend at the Ike Foundation Tournament. Now, is it Nani or Nanny? Because we, we had an argument off stage <laughs> about this. Let it's everybody know the correct pronunciation. Pronounce my name is Nanny. Nanny? But I'll take Nani. Nani or Nanny. <laughs> or Nan Clem Clemper. Clemper, yep. Clemper from O'Meal's. <laughs> and I've been known to butcher a lot of names before. Sorry. We're going to make sure it's, it's, it's the It's the Northeastern thing. We, it is we the Northeast. We slaughter everything. And we do. And in, in make it uh, matters worse, my family has passed down this immediate thing to mess everything up. Oh. I can't say aluminum. How do you say it? <laughs> aluminum. <laughs> aluminum. I can't say. I, I, I What's the thing where the smoke goes up? There's a fire. Chimbley. Yep. Ch see? The chimbley. <laughs> the chimbley. You know what I mean? It's so like my last name. My last name's Klimper. Everyone calls me Clamper. Right. Uh, yeah. So I've. Schlimper. I've been born. <laughs> I've been <laughs> born to butcher stuff. But I, I'm glad to have you here, and I oh, want to talk about uh, O'Meal's because O'Meal's to me is the perfect fit for guys that fish, for oh, yeah. girls that fish. If you like sport fishing, I don't care if it's saltwater, fly fishing, kayak anglers, guys in a bass boat, Everything. this is a really amazing product. It is. When Becky first showed it to me, you know, I'm like, wait, what? what is that? And then she started explaining it. And, it, and like, my eyes lit up because taking time out to eat, in my world, sure. as a pro angler, I don't want to do that. I right. can't spend... 20, 30, 40 minutes preparing a meal. It's crucial. This, this is amazing product to fill that quick, good meal. Absolutely. This, it's, that's the category. Yep. Tell, tell everybody a little bit Definitely. about what this Definitely. product is. And I'd love to uh, you know, thank you both, Mike and uh, Becky, for having us on here. Um, you know, we launched O Meals uh, back in August of 2015. Initially, we launched it uh, for the backpacking market. The camper, the hiker, people that are going out into the wilderness and doing you know, days on their feet. Uh, and immediately, the fishing and the hunting markets gravitated because of the product's portability. Uh, it's fully cooked, self-contained. There's no stove, no fuel, no fresh water needed. Uh, all it takes is to activate the heater with a couple ounces of liquid, any liquid, and uh, yep. you get a hot meal on the go. Uh, so I could totally sympathize with you in the sense that you're on your feet for 16 hours. You need something to oh fill gosh. in the gaps there. And uh, this is the ultimate solution for folks like yourself. Um, and you know, basically what we have is uh, a, a self-heating, fully cooked meal. Uh, we offer breakfast varieties, chicken, beef, be uh, beef, uh, pork, everything across the board to satisfy breakfast, lunch, dinner. We got the vegetarian stuff. Um, so overall, you know, we uh, can complement anyone's tastes and uh, preferences. Uh, what I brought here for us today, I brought the uh, chicken creole with brown rice. It's a uh, white meat chicken uh, in a red sauce. It's going to be with brown rice. This, uh, it's got low sodium, low cholesterol. It's got a nice uh, concentration of protein. Um, overall, this is about 230 calories, 8 ounces of food. Something we focused on with uh, these meals was the nutritional content. We know yeah. that we're going to be dealing with health conscious consumers, sodium content and cholesterol mainly. Yeah. Um, right here also, I brought the lentils with beef and a vegetable sauce. Lentils and beef, sirloin beef, lentils, gluten free components. So, Very you know, cool. overall, it's, um, it's, it's a fantastic product and uh, we've got a great hit and success out of it. Uh, I bought a vegetarian product here, I brought the vegetarian chili. Uh, it's a vegetarian dish. You know, you got five beans in there. Um, it's in a standard chili sauce. Got a little bit of kick to it. Yeah. Um, but overall, it's one of my absolute favorites. What I like to do is maybe heat it up and maybe toss some chicken or beef in it and maybe scoop some nachos on it. So on the boat, heat one of these guys up and uh, have some, some tortilla chips to uh, dip in it. Very nice. I had that one for lunch the other day. Did it's you have delicious. this one? Yeah, it's good. It's good. So good. It's, uh, I wish there was more of it, you know, but uh, it's only eight ounces in every package. Not only, but that's uh, a standard serving size. So uh, I also wanted to showcase the hash brown potatoes with bacon, peppers, and onions. This is one of our Very new. Uh, breakfast options, um, and it's self-explanatory. You got shredded potatoes, uh, bacon bits, you got peppers and onions. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. So, 
Um, I'll just show you guys how it works. How cool. does that sound? Let's see it. Yeah. Cool. And for everyone out there, they also make oatmeal, and the oatmeal is so good. Oatmeal I'm, with oatmeal. <laughs> I'm I love oatmeal, but I hate mushy oatmeal. Yeah. yeah. And you guys have like that thicker grain, real oat oatmeal. It's, it's a real yeah. still cut oat. And um, you know, it's, what I like to do with my oatmeal personally is I'll stop and uh, maybe get some trail mix, toss some fresh fruit into it. It increases the portion size and caters it more to my taste liking. So the nice little modular approach when I'm out on the trail or fishing in the mornings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so overall, you know, it's uh, it's a very simple product to open. You take it at the top, you got the tear notch, and it's got a zip style seal here. Ugh. Open that up. And in every package, you're going to have three components. You're going to have the heater, which is inside, I'll show you. You got the food, right? fully cooked, it's like a flexible can. The utensil kit, spoon, napkin, salt and pepper. And then you've got this little heating pad inside. And then, of course, a social media card, find us on Facebook.com, of course. So basically, what we do is we take the food, drop the food in, keep it in the pouch. It's like a flexible can. These are yep. put it, Mike, as you know. Stand that upright. You're going to take the heater, drop the heater in, and then you're going to add three to five ounces of any liquid. What's great about this is you can keep the fresh water for your consumption, and you can scoop the water out of the lake, out of the ocean. Maybe if you have a leftover bottle of Gatorade floating on the car, right. anything you want. So we're going to add that liquid there, situate the heater at the bottom, and we're going to wait about 30 to 60 seconds, depending on the temperature of the liquid and the altitude of deployment. Colder liquid, higher altitudes, longer deployment. So that's it, Mike. You know, takes uh, Fill that thing up. That's it, man. Awesome. It's, it's so this, easy. This is, and I, I want everybody watching uh, to, to see the simplicity of this. Because this is what I love. You know, ag again, for me, if I'm in the kayak, if I'm fishing off the bank, if I'm in my boat, I don't want to spend a lot of time with equipment, right? Yeah. I don't want to lug a stove. I don't want to be 30 minutes deep to eat a meal. I want it quick, right? right. Yeah. This is amazing. You could be fishing right now. You could, you could be just fishing right keep now. Fishing you could right seal now this up. As your food's cooking. If you're Aaron Martins, you could be drop shotting right now. Yep. That's it, it. It's that easy. It's this to me is game changing. Game changing. In the world of fishing when it comes to eating right on the boat. It, this is game changing. Yeah. What you're doing is you're consolidating the amount of supplies that conventionally you would bring. Oh look there and it's starting to steam there. It's steam. Steaming. So what you're doing is we're consolidating the amount of uh, space and utilities it takes to, to prepare food. So no stove, yeah. no fuel, which is your operational cost, and yep. no fresh water. Keep that fresh water for yourself to drink. Yeah, you get to use something else. Um, what's great about this is that the pouch gets taken up to an excess of 200 degrees. So you can hard boil eggs in there. You can heat up beverages. Wow. You catch yourself some trout. You want to take a freezer grade bag, put the trout in it, toss it in the bag. Yeah, you're cooking fish right out. I mean, wow. farm to table, a whole new meaning here. Um, so it takes about five minutes from once the heat starts uh, to generate. And you've got a hot meal on the go. Use your utensil kits. And remember, once you're done with you know eating the food, you're going to want to take all your waste, place it back in, seal it up, and you've got one piece of trash. Yeah. But Brian, Brian a Carpenter, let me let me jump in real quick. Remember the uh, trip we took into Alaska? Uh, Nine day trip. A lot of it was hiking in. Yeah. Dude, where we needed O'Meals back then. Yeah, we did. Dude, we took all the wrong stuff. We ran out of food. We ran out of water. We almost it was heavy going in, so lugging heavy. that stuff in. Oh yeah. God, we needed O'Meals back then. Yeah. No kidding. Man. We're well, we're here now. We're here now. I know. We're well, now. that means <laughs> we need to take another trip to Alaska. <laughs> there you go. Call Tom. Tom! Where's Tom? All right. Tom, are you out there? <laughs> All right, Michael. So here's a couple things. I am horrible at measuring three to five ounces. Yep. I have probably overfilled, underfilled, and it still just works. Yeah, it works, and, and that's a great point there. So this is the new packaging we've launched. One of the new features on the new packaging is we put a fill line. Uh -huh. All right, so two ounces to me and two ounces to someone else is uh, it's user discretion. So right. uh, what's great about this is that if you use four ounces, ten ounces, it's still going to work. It's not going to play on the consistency like freeze-dried products, where if you use too much water, too little water, like rice or pasta, you get a different consistency every time. Uh, with the new packaging as well, we've uh, increased the steam vent size, uh, mainly because we want it to exhaust accordingly and at a safe measure for folks, so it doesn't come and you know blow up in their face or you know take away the packaging. Yeah. Um, something else is this is a new line bag with a four met liner, which is basically metallic lining, so the bag's not going to pry open. And we've got a deeper gusset at the bottom to provide more stability on the product itself. Gotcha. All yeah. in all, we got eight ounces of food. You have a 36-month best use-by date. We stamp at the top. So, and it's subjective. If you store it in a cooler condition, the product's going to last longer. Right. Um, and overall, you know, we're just uh, providing an alternative approach to preparing a hot meal on the go. Um, you know, folks that backpack and camp that bring freeze-dried foods, fantastic. You're always going to want to carry one or two of these. Yeah. If something goes wrong, your pot cracks, your fresh water runs out, man, you've got yep. a great meal on the go here. So. Yeah. Now, I have to be honest. Mike um, is, is not very experimental in his foods. Okay. So I couldn't say, all right, I've got meal in a bag, yeah. and I'm going to feed it to you. So when he wasn't paying attention, he was, you know, working on tackle in the barn. I went in, I cooked an O'Meal. Okay. 
filmed it. I was so excited. I was like, it's steaming. It's so cool. But before he got in the house, I threw it away and I presented it on a bowl and he ate it like normal Did dinner. Vex yeah. feed me loving dinner. It. Yeah, loving And it. then I asked him, I'm like, so what'd you think of dinner? And he was like, yeah, it's great. And I'm like, it, it came, came out of a yeah. bag. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, yeah. honestly, that's a true story. And that's, that's a great testament because I'm sure yep. a certain segment of people are looking at this and they're saying, you know, it, it can it be, is that good? But it is freaking awesome. It, yeah. I, in fact, I thought your mom had come over and cooked it. It was so good. Oh. Your food's okay. <laughs> <but> your mom <laughs> cooks really, really good food. So it's okay to out your wife nationally every once in a while. Once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a lot of people yeah. watching right now that are here at ICAST, and there's a ton that are at home. They're seeing this product like, oh, my God, this is a godsend. This is what I need. Tell them where they can find you here at the show, what your booth number is, yeah, and definitely, also definitely. tell them how to find it if they want to get it. Right Absolutely. Now. So uh, we're located here at booth 106. Uh, it's in the very first row. And then um, you can also find it on www.omills.com. Follow us on Instagram at, uh, at omillsus. And uh, you can find us nationwide at one of your local retailers. Right. Pretty awesome. Pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, th I think we also have a discount code we had made as well. Do. Yeah. Oh, let it. I'm sorry. I can't. Bass 30. Okay, so we've got uh, Bass 30, B-A-S-S -S 30. If you go to the website and plug it in, yep. you get a 30% discount on all the products, anything awesome. on the website. Wow. And, uh, yeah, you know, write us, take some pictures, send them in, and, uh, you know, follow us on Facebook. We've got some raffles, contests. We give tons of food away. And, yep. uh, you know, we're out here just doing good. You know, we love being a part of organizations. So if there's anything we could ever be a part of to support in the community, we're the first people to call. We love feeding people, as you can see. So Very cool. Very awesome. cool. Awesome. Uh, there you have it. Everybody watching, please check out O'Meals. Go to the website. Use the promo code BASS30. 30% off. Right. You're not going to regret it. This is amazing stuff. If you're a hardcore fish head like me, you got to have this in the boat. It's so key. Absolutely. Beck, as soon as this camera's off, I think we need to eat that. Yeah. We'll uh, I, uh, I think it's I been. I call dibs. Oh, <laughs> Brian the Carpenter's <laughs> call dibs. Mine. Call dibs. Oh, yeah. Okay, hang in there with us. Uh, when we come back, the Dean is back with us, the very own Pete Glusick. More new products here at <laughs> 2017 ICAST. It's an official amount. And we'll see it. We're going to be eating no meals in a little bit. So hang in there with us. Thanks. We'll be right back. Take care, folks.